Welcome to the how-to guide for a successful band page on Facebook. My name is Jeremy Espinosa, and by night, I am an EDM DJ in Las Vegas, but by day, I work in social media management. In this series of videos, I will walk you through the entire process of not only creating, but engaging fans through a Facebook fan page. We will go over in depth the band page tab, which is essential for musicians, bands, and DJs. Although geared towards music, other entertainers like dancers, magicians, and comedians can also benefit from these features. The great thing is you can follow along and implement most of the features in these videos without spending a dime. You can follow along and implement 100% of what I show you and only have to spend $2. If you discover that this is a lot of work and you just can't find the time to manage it yourself, check out the end of the video where I direct you to becoming a client of mine and I will do the work for you. To be successful at this, you will have to devote at least three to eight hours a week to your band page, and some people just don't have the time on top of their already busy schedule. At My Magic Space, we manage social media for all types of small businesses as well. This video contains the following chapters, which you can click on if you need to rewatch or jump around in the video. Okay, first we are going to go over creating a Facebook fan page quickly. Many of you may have already done this step, but for those who haven't, it's pretty straightforward. Now, you can either just go search for the word pages, or just find another page, like if I start typing in Danstronauts, I know they're a Facebook page, I can go to them, and it will give me the option to create a page. Alright, now, when I create a page, I'm going to go and click down where it says Artist, Band, or Public Figure. And for category, I'm going to choose Musician or Band. You can choose the category that suits you best. Now, here is where you type in the name of your Facebook page. Now, this is crucial that you take your time with this and make sure that you have it correctly because once you set it, you can't change it. If you want, needed to change it, you would actually have to create a whole new Facebook page and create a whole new fan base just to change the name. We're going to just go ahead and use ABC Fan Page. And I highly suggest that you also take a moment and look at the Facebook terms and read through those. You know, I know a lot of people just click past the terms, but definitely read those. There's some important information that you need to know about running a, a Facebook page. So, get started. I'm going to go through and skip through a lot of these steps because I'm going to actually edit this information later. Like, I don't want to invite friends just yet because I'm not ready to share the page with the world. So, I'm going to skip through these steps and again we can always edit this information after the fact. Up in the top right, I can click Edit Page. And one of the first things I want to do is unpublish page. Only admins can see this page. And I'm going to click Save Changes. So nobody will be able to see this page until I'm ready to release it. And if we go to Basic Information, it's important that you fill out a biography and obviously if you're a musician, a band, a DJ, any sort of entertainer, it's a, your bio is crucial. So you want to make sure you get that in there, make sure everything's spell checked correctly, and just make sure you add any website links and link people to your other social networks like Twitter and your YouTube channel. But I also highly suggest signing up for a SoundCloud account to host your music for streaming previews and possibly for download or purchase. SoundCloud and Root Music's band page work seamlessly. I've done a lot of research and there are other services like Reverb Nation that is a competitor to Root Music's band page, but I love the interface and functionality of band page and believe it is the superior product that I recommend to all my clients. Before we skip to the next chapter, let me show you another important thing to do after you created your Facebook page. You're going to want to go ahead and in your address bar, type in facebook.com slash usernames. And what you'll do here is you'll select the page 
This is another thing that you cannot change once you set it, so make it count. If you created your page a while ago, you may have to get 25 likes on your page before they let you pick a name. Facebook recently changed this policy, but some pages are grandfathered into the old policy. Next, let's jump over to SoundCloud and look at their pricing structure. If we look at the solo account, this is the one that I recommend the most, okay? And you can start this tutorial with the free account, and it's going to give you two hours of space. Myself, doing DJ mixes over an hour long sometimes, two hours of space is gone very quickly. I highly suggest the solo account. It's either $12.50 a month or $108 for the entire year. You get unlimited downloads, privacy settings, 12 upload hours as opposed to only two. So there's a good amount of space on there. And you also get great statistics like you can track which countries have played your tracks. And Root Music's Band Page Plus is just $20 for the year. And I recommend to all my clients they make the year investment in both. In the social media world for businesses, they say every fan is worth about $130. So 128 doesn't sound so bad for both these services. It's a bargain. You can easily start this with a free SoundCloud account, upgrade when you run out of space. Now if you choose to pay monthly, it is less than $15 a month for all the tools you need. When we head over to rootmusic.com for the first time, you will have to either submit your email or log in with your Facebook email. I use the Facebook option personally and you're going to need to connect the two anyways. After this quick initial setup, it is super easy to log in when you are already logged into your Facebook. As I mentioned before, the Bandpage Plus upgrade is only $2 a month or $20 for the year. I recommend at the very least you purchase this upgrade. It will allow you to insert your own custom graphics as well as other advanced features like forcing people to like your page before they can stream or download the music. So once we sign in to the page, we're going to go to the content tab where you can add a track or a DJ mix. Just click add track and it will have you link up your SoundCloud. Again this is pretty straightforward. Once you're connected you will see all the available tracks for you to add which in this situation we've already added them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and X out of this and let's just go ahead and remove one of these tracks. Okay so now if I come add a track, you see now it's back available for me to add it back to the band page. If you don't see a track here that you think you should see, your tracks must have apps enabled and advanced settings to play on your band page. So check your SoundCloud settings if you don't see it and make sure you have apps enabled. You can also add videos to this same playlist. If we click videos, down below we can either enter a YouTube or a Vimeo link or if we've already uploaded a video to the Facebook page you will see it here to add to the playlist still remaining on the content tab we're gonna go to more info and this is where you re-enter your bio you've probably already entered it on the other main tab of your Facebook page we need to also enter it here because we want to make sure that people don't have to bounce around for your page to find everything. They're going to find everything they need to know about you. All your music, your photos, your videos, your other social networks like your Twitter feed, your YouTube videos are going to be synced in here. Everything's on this one page, this one tab. So you definitely want to have your bio in here. You also want to make sure that you add an email address so that people can contact you for gigs. Of course, also add any websites that you would possibly want to link to. So in the next video I will show you some advanced features of Facebook and band page customization. We will go over adding custom graphics, adding shows and events manually, Photoshop tips, and custom banner creation to make your page stand out from the crowd. In the third video I will teach you everything about adding shows through artist data and having them sync automatically across multiple concert databases and social networks. In video 4, we will go into advanced SoundCloud and how to get your mixes thousands of plays all around the world. In video 5, we will go over some advanced marketing techniques and recommending other sites you should pay attention to once you've mastered everything else. To get the next video, you must share this video to your Facebook wall. 
I would prefer you share it to your personal page if that is where you have the most friends. Then just message me through Facebook and link me your page so I can verify it is on your wall. Then I will send you the private link to the next video. You will need a free YouTube account to get the invite. You can also just message me through YouTube and let me know that you shared it to your wall. Now if this all seems like a lot of work and you would like to inquire hiring me to do the work for you, please go to get.mymagicspace.com to see our packages and pricing. Or you can email me from my band page for a specific quote based on your needs. Thanks again. We'll see you next video.